What is up guys, Zack Scott here, playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom for the Nintendo Switch. I've been waiting for this moment for years. This highly anticipated sequel to Breath of the Wild has already received perfect review scores and I couldn't be more excited to share this experience with all of you. You can look forward to daily content until I beat this game. I had the honor of interviewing the legendary Mr. Miyamoto and Mr. Ayanuma, the producer of this game, and that is one reason why this series holds a special place in my heart. I just want to thank them and Nintendo for their creations and their hard work. I also want to thank you my subscribers. You have made my channel the place for Nintendo gameplay content on YouTube. Just take a look at the first episode of Breath of the Wild. It has 10 million views, all thanks to your amazing support. You gave it over 118,000 likes. It would mean the world to me if this video could even capture a fraction of that, so don't forget to drop a like on this video. We've come a long way together. When I started playing Breath of the Wild, we had 2.4 million subscribers, and now we are 5.2 million strong. That's incredible, and I cannot thank you enough. If you haven't subscribed to Zack Scott Games yet, now is your chance. I'll do my best to bring you even more awesome videos. Just leave a comment letting me know which games made you subscribe and which games you want to see me play in the future. Now, without further ado, let's play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This is going to be epic. Here we go. This strange bloom keeps getting thicker. We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? There's Zelda. And I'm Link. And looks like I got a lot of gear on right now, so that's exciting. Oh, I can talk to her. Hmm. I never imagined this was all deep beneath Hyrule Castle. Interesting. So we're kind of sorry. I got all my hearts. That's good. I don't even know if I ended Breath of the Wild with this many hearts. I bet I'm going to lose some stuff. All right. Well, this is nice already. I mean, this it feels so good to be back. When I was a child, I asked my father if there was anything below the castle. He told me there was, though seeing it for ourselves or even discussing the matter was forbidden. No one in our family knew anything more than that. Huh. All right. Let's go. I'll lead. I'll lead the way. Uh-oh. People have been falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. I hope you're right. <laughs> we'll keep going. With it coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Let's go solve this mystery. Did she get a haircut? Well, so far, I mean, the graphics are looking pretty good. Let's see, man. I, I'm just kind of in awe right now. It's, I, like I said in the intro, I've been, hold on, I heard something. I heard something. Huh? Link. What? I've been waiting for this for, for a long, long time. The Master Sword. Oh, it's glowing. Hmm. It must be sensing something. All right. I knew we had a reason for concern. Ever since the end of the Calamity, the castle has fallen into neglect. Hmm. But I never could have imagined anything like these tunnels were hiding here. Uh. We must be careful as we move deeper. So it looks like we got tunnels underground. We know we have things in the sky. Swing my sword. Heck yeah. Nice. All right. You want to talk about anything else? Or are we good? We good? I can recall what my father said even now. No one must ever venture beneath the castle. Not even one of us. 
He said this warning had been passed down through my family for as long as anyone could remember. That is very scary. <laughs> That's what, and yet here we are. All right, great. Oh, <gasps> Link, look here. It's been so long since I played Breath of the Wild. I hope the controls are easy enough for me to remember. These are ruins from an ancient civilization. Wait, something is written here. Might these ruins be from the Zonai? I don't know. It's, it gave me an option to examine very briefly. We need, we need to continue exploring this underground area, forbidden or not. The source of the gloom is down here somewhere. All right, let's go. Let's go. I mean, I hope you're, hope you're right on not being able to, like, not breathing this hurting us, you know? Oh, look at this. Huh. Bunch of junk. <laughs> These carvings. I'm sure they're Zonai in origin. I've seen designs like this in my studies. The Zonai are said to have lived long, uh, long ago in the time of earliest legend. They possessed godlike powers and a, a prosperous civilization in the sky. Many history books tell us about the Zonai, but none gives us the full picture. Much is still unknown about them. She's taking photos with her switch. <laughs> Swing my sword. Yeah. I'll beat up those Zonai. If we see them, I will. Anything else to talk about? I am determined to discover the connection between this place and the emergence of the gloom. Me too. Those statues there. What are we looking at now? Is this what the Zonai looked like? They seem so different than us, and such large ears. They do look like freaks, don't they? How did the ruins from a civilization in the sky end up here beneath the castle? It looks like the path ahead goes even deeper. Let's continue, Link. All right. I mean, I guess that's what you do if you want to expand the map of Breath of the Wild. You know, you, you add underground stuff and you add above ground, like above, in the sky stuff. Whoa, whoa. Oh, no, no, get out of here. <laughs> I have, I'm really powerful. Don't mess with me. All right, intro to combat. 101. You are not hurt, are you, Link? Oh, come on. Just a couple of keys. That's what they are, right? I'm fine. <gasps> look oh. at these murals. They look pretty cool. The written histories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Mm. I don't like Is the Demon possible? King. Do these murals depict the same legend? <sighs> This is similar to the statues we saw earlier, a Zonai. And these figures look like Hylians. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. Scary. It is said that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, Born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. These murals tell a similar story. And if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish... the Kingdom of Hyrule. Well, that's cool. This figure... He seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. Is that Ganon? I don't like him. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. And then this. It shows the demon king. And a fierce battle against him. If the creature depicted here really does represent the demon king, then... Incredible. This mural must be the great war recorded in the royal histories. This 
is the imprisoning war and the events that led up to it. Link, this is a huge discovery. All right. Well, good. And I know the human form of Ganon. All right, then. Now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. You know, it was Ganondorf. It's so easy to record. You point it and click. Oh. <laughs> was it? it? Looks like the rest of the murals are obscured. Let's bomb them. <laughs> Blow them up. <laughs> Just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link, let's keep moving deeper. Okay. I mean, I am a little concerned, honestly, because this is some really spooky stuff we're dealing with. I'm gonna look over here just really quick, just to see like if there's anything that was missed. No, doesn't seem like it. But yeah, I mean, the, the Zonai, the Hylians, Ganon Dork, that's what I call him, because I don't like him. So I insult him. Let's go this way. And I mean, this seems to be the way to go, but this, like it's red, which is a little bit more concerning because the other one wasn't red, right? It's getting even worse. Are you sure I can breathe this? I'm just going for it. I don't care. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this, this seems bad, but we're going. Is she behind me, by the way? You wanna chat about anything by the... Wait, Zelda, come on. Anything else you wanna talk about? I can't tell you how excited I am. The murals down here, their images support so much of what historians have written about. I find myself wondering, how did this area come to be so forgotten? Why was our history left hidden here? Did the royal family in those ancient times want this place and these murals to remain secret and out of sight? Mural is like a word I kind of have a little bit of difficulty with, but I said it right just then. Anything else? I can't shake the feeling that I'm missing something here. Why would anyone want to keep this whole area a secret? It can't be because of what's shown in those murals. I can only hope we'll find more answers farther below. The gloom is growing heavier as we go. It's more and more unnerving. I don't like the look of this, but we must find our answers, Link. All right, so now she's, too, she's repeating herself. So now we can move on, feeling confident that we've explored all of Zelda's you know, knowledge about this. Picking her brain. Oh, whoa. What the heck is this? Wow. What is this place? Let's continue, Link, but we must be extremely careful. <laughs> Not yet. What, are, what does that mean? Not yet. Like, no, I'm going to go do something else. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. What is that? Ew. Oh, what the heck? Huh? Treasure. <laughs> I don't know about touching that stuff. It's glowing. This would terrify me. Oh no. Okay, this would terrify me even more. <laughs> Let's just be real. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh, my heart. I worked so hard for those last game. And my arm and my sword and oh no. And my sword is just gone. Oof. Link! Was that the sword that seals the darkness? <laughs> the blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. Yeah, I'd be freaked right now. Zelda. You who carries that fragile sword a Link. That's me. Raru placed his faith in you. And that was all you could do. I mean... How do you know our names? I did some pretty cool stuff last game. Let's just admit it. 
Now this game, I mean, I don't know. I hope to. Oof. Great. Another world changing event to deal with. I love that this is a direct sequel to Breath of the Wild. That's so cool. Is this? <laughs> Who is this guy? Oh, my arm is severely messed up. Zelda! Grab her with your good arm. <laughs> oh boy. I'm a little bit worried about this arm. Uh oh. Uh. What? Okay. I guess I'll be getting a new arm thingy. I mean, I've seen some promotional images. I've seen a couple trailers. Yeah, this is bad, guys. You should be wary of this. This. You thought your nightmare was over. <laughs> With the calamity being gone, but nope. All right, what is this? It's that arm thing. It's on my arm. I got an arm on my arm. It's very bright. There we go, good as new. I've lost a lot of hearts. My master sword isn't quite as good as it used to be. But in, in exchange, I got this cool arm. And nice fingernails to go along with it. Link, finally you wake. Who's that? I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Have you? Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. Same. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. It's kind of cool, though. Oh, what about my sword? That was a pretty important weapon I had. All right. So back to square one. Well, not really square one because I do have a new arm. This is rotten. It's very corroded. <laughs> I mean, we can make it a little better, right? Can you make this better too? I got the Decayed Master Sword, the sword that seals the darkness. <laughs> its sacred power has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom beneath Hyrule Castle. All right, let me look at my inventory really quick. That's what I got. Yep, this is how it is. They should have just left me super powerful like before. That would have been the best. <laughs> but I get it. New game, new adventure. That's how to attack. Do I get to use this thing? I still get to use it. That's good, right? Anything in here to, I mean, what kind of game is this? Are they gonna put like secret stuff? Like, oh, I can actually climb this. Stamina's back. This is looking good. I don't see anything though that sticks out. So let's just let's just head forward. I would have just hated like they're, them to have put a secret there and I would have missed it or something. All right. Oh, wow. Where am I? Examine that. That looks like my hand. Fingernails and all.
Man, it's been so long since I played Breath of the Wild. I should have done like a like a like a catch up, like a live stream or something of Breath of the Wild. So that I like some of this stuff wouldn't Well, I mean, on the other hand, some of this stuff is gonna feel new to me, like new again, but you guys in the comments are gonna be like, Zach, you've seen this in Breath of the Wild, you've seen this place in Breath of the Wild, you should remember it. What is this? It's like a, what is that? Does that do anything? Whoa, crouching. That looks important. All right, let me, I mean, part of me wants to see if I can climb that now. Uh, do you think I can just grab onto that? I'm curious. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Maybe we'll come back to this later, I don't know. Step through this, nothing. Let's go, let's go this way. I think if it wanted me to deal with that now, you know, I mean, do you think it does? I don't know, I don't think it does. All right, let's go. Oh, there's my run. And my, oh, I hit the wrong button for jump. Dash, can I dash in the water? I can. My stamina, of course, is limited, so. Uh, I'm gonna wanna upgrade that soon. Yeah, part of this is just me getting used to the controls again. Splash. Let's attack. I'm gonna be the high dive champion. Landing in water, even from a great height, will prevent you from taking fall damage. That's exactly what I want to hear. Oh, there's a treasure chest up here, guys. This is exciting. And by the way, in case you skipped the intro or something, I just want to remind you guys to subscribe to the channel to keep up with the series. I'm gonna be uploading multiple episodes, uh, sometimes a day. Archaic legwear, simple classic legwear. They're well worn and showing their age, but they've still got a few good years left in them. It could be a bit cumbersome to have to tie the straps. All right. Yeah, open my inventory, and then can I just put these on really quick? There you go, that's, I mean, okay. <laughs> I mean, not really what I would have chosen to wear, but, if it gives me a little bit more protection against the uh, elements, then sure. All right, let's go this way. We're about to get out of this cave thing. Get out of here, bird. Get out, get. Okay, are we, are we in the sky? Oh, we're in the sky. Wow, we're high in the sky. Jump. I mean, since I'm playing a video game, I'll do it. <laughs> There we go. Do I have my glider? Can we go? Which I can't move. Oh, this is great. Here we go. Look at this place. Oh, wow. I, I may not get back down to the surface for a while. I don't know. This is pretty cool. There's a lot of new lands up here. Oh, this is the, this is the title sequence: The Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom. Very awesome. And I hope I land in the water. <laughs> I'm gonna try to land just on the, hit my head on the side here now. go love that song and lily pads here when i see lily pads i always think of plants versus zombies let's get up here do i have like a whoa um man there's gonna be so much exploration in this game you know oh there's a dragon there we're on great sky island awesome Give me this. Take a tree branch. Uh, select, so that's my weapon. I guess this would be better. It seems to be a little stronger. Now, when does my arm come in handy? Like the fuse ability and stuff like that. Do I have that now? 
Which one's my, which is, is there a... My hair is looking pretty wild. Okay, let's let's go. I mean, I, I don't want to spend too much time just... Oh, can I... Oh, this is a mushroom. Take it. Sky Shroom. Eat it to restore health. And then... Uh, can I do anything with these flowers? Anything with these bushes? No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh... -oh, uh, -oh, uh, -oh. uh hi -ah! Oh, my tree branch is already badly damaged. Got him. But I'll take another one. You were wearing this one, right? Whoa! Is he okay? Zonai Charge. A material used as a power source for constructs and other devices. Its strange light seems to reveal potent energy inside. And a soldier construct horn. Alright. So this is... Uh, these are my materials. The tree branch is badly damaged. That's okay. I'll find some more. You know, I think the game was... Uh, here, there's another one. I think the game was is trying to maybe go this way, but who knows? Let's go take a peek. There's something here. There's a bird. Get out of here, bird. This is a wooden stick. Even better. Even better. Okay. Some of the controls are kind of coming back to me. Uh, I don't think I want to drop down there yet. Okay. Oh, another tree branch. That one's not as good as my wooden stick. I wonder what makes the wooden stick that much better than a tree branch. What is this? Okay. Oh, is that one over there? Is that one of these guys? These Zonai's or whatever? Oh, hold on. Sky Shroom. Oh, what is this? Oh, no. <laughs> Very tall. You were so small and compact. Are we friends? Link, I have waited for you. Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. Oh, great. I need that. The Pura Pad. I am told it is an invaluable tool that will provide you with direction. Indeed. Well, this is, uh, I got the Pura Pad. It looks like a switch. <laughs> there we go. Princess Zelda's prized device. It has a variety of features that are essential for adventure. Does she not need them if they're essential? Open it up. There is a map right there. Holy moly. Great Sky Island. And we, our goal is to get to over here to find Princess Zelda. Select... What happens if I open adventure log? You found yourself on a strange island in the sky after you awoke. A steward construct claimed that Princess Zelda gave gave it her Pura Pad all to get it in your hands. The device's map shows you. Okay, I don't need to read that. I don't know why I was reading that. I received it. I received it from Princess Zelda. I have now passed it on to you. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting at the location marked on its map. My message has been delivered. Where am I? We stand in the Garden of Time. I hope I didn't just, like, kill your friend for no reason. The Temple of Time is visible from here. Okay. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. Great. But no more. Now it is a lonely place. No one visits. All right. What is this? I can touch it with my fingernails. All right, find Princess Zelda is my next objective. I I do have to, you know, venture off just a little bit, just to see if I, there we go. Another tree branch, some more mushrooms. You know, take the the beaten path or whatever, or the the non-beaten path. I don't know. Off the beaten path, I think is what they say. Who's they? I don't know. I don't want to do too much exploring yet. I want to stay on task for a little bit. And of course, anyone who wants to see Skyward Sword, I finally beat that game. That was a huge milestone for me, and I'm so glad that I did it. I just hope that, uh, you know, I hope that you guys, uh, you know, you're you're happy. You're, you still want to watch it, maybe, maybe not, but I'm happy I beat it. That's the main thing. Uh, is this, who is this? What, what is this? 
Oh, I got a Zonite charge. Nice. Okay, let's uh, get a move on. Take a look over here. Get gathering, you know, the, the basics here. An apple, of course. Is there a way to, like, roll into these? Oh, I got another apple. There you go. I got him. Nice. Oh. I was, <laughs> I was thinking about throwing it at him. Hello, you seem to be new here. Be wary of soldier constructs as you travel this way. Soldier constructs? Soldier constructs are those of us given strict orders to, to protect this land. The Zonai who created us directed them to eliminate trespassers. They will consider you a trespasser too. You must treat them as a serious threat. Allow me to offer unsolicited advice. It is crucial to maintain a proper distance and target your opponents. Swinging haphazardly will not yield results. All right, so press and hold. So we're getting the, the combat 101 stuff, the stuff that I've kind of forgotten the controls of. You may practice targeting on me if you want, but please do not actually attack. What if I do? What if I do? Ah, gotcha. Danger. Sorry. My bad. I was having fun. Tread carefully around any soldier construct you see. Our creators gave them strict... Yeah, got it. Got it. Got it. Understood. Give me that apple. No, I'm trying to pick, get the apple. Got it. All right. Take the apple. Thank you. Uh, and another stick. Another wooden stick. Uh, throw weapon. Great. I can throw weapons now. Oh, apples. Nice. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. I mean, I hope I don't... Well, we'll see what happens. Gotta watch out for soldier constructs. I got plenty of branches and stuff like that, so... We should be good. Are we dropping down? Let's see. I think we were dropping down. This is exciting. And we can go. We can accelerate. Boom. Oh, hey, little froggies. Can I have you? Can I have you? <laughs> it's raining. Hey, come here, frog. Oh, wow. Where'd he go? Where'd he, did he just leave? I really wanted to get that frog. All right. Sky shrooms. Oh, uh, where to now? Maybe I shouldn't have gone this way, exactly. Oh, there's a soldier construct, I think. Uh, let's try it. Let's try to fight him, I guess. Or, or, okay, well, here we go. Wait, wh where's my weapon? There it is. All right, we got it. Ha! How's that? No, don't, don't crouch! There you go. You're welcome. That wasn't so bad. I didn't mean to crouch. That was the main thing that got me is I ended up crouching. I can probably can't carry any more tree branches. That's fine. Uh, let's take a look at my inventory. And let's eat an apple. Yum. Let's see one more apple. Yum. All right. Great. Um, so far I haven't, like, learned to, like, fuse. I know fusing is a thing. I haven't learned that yet. A couple of side paths here. Whoa, what's that? What is that little bird thing? Hi. Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, well, hey. I, you were in the wrong, but I'm not going to, you know, do anything about it. I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> Oh dear, uh, am I going the right way? Is the, the main, oh no, this way is the way to go. Here, let's go this way. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh, two guys, two guys, help. Help, 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 help. All right, I can take one at a time. Or maybe not, because this guy's a big stick. Oh, wait, hold on, are there, hold on. Wait, 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 are there three guys? No, 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 don't, no, no, no. Okay, so the, no, oh no. Surely you can't just keep going. Oh, great. Great, 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 great. Uh, I'm going to end up going this way. Hopefully don't, you don't follow me. Okay, I think they're still looking for me. No! Oh! No, 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 no. Here, how do I... Can I... No, no. Okay, this is, this is not great. Can I swim away? Yeah, you can't get me in here, can you? So the thing is, is I really need to... Uh, eat some apples or something here. Let's uh, eat one of these. All right. I wasn't prepared to attack three of them with like a shorter range weapon than they had, so I got out of there. I hope that's all right. 
What did I see? I thought I saw a message pop up. Oh, pick up. Pick up what? Oh, the stone. Great. I'm coming for you, bird. Oh, no! Oh, no, there they are! There they are! Uh, oh, oh, gosh. Uh. <laughs> okay, enough, enough. Oh, no, the birds are after me, too! No, don't duck! What the heck? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That missed. Pick up this. Oh, come on. How did that all miss? Where are you going? All right. Fine. I kind of want to just take out this one guy. So apparently I could throw... He's out of here. All right. That's fine. That's fine. I didn't feel a huge desire to just engage several of those in combat. Hey, buddy. Hi. Hello. Uh, were you lured in, the, in here by the delicious smells? I assume so. Ingredients are especially fragrant when roasted by a fire. They may also be tastier and more nutritious. I would, I would not know. You're roasting them? Oh, you're unfamiliar to me. My apologies. Among my tasks is to explain anything that first-time visitors might require knowledge of. I think it's funny that they have, like, two different types of robots. Like... One that like helps you, and then one that like fins like fins you off and like tries to hurt you. <laughs> you may have questions about this place. Please rest assured that a construct can answer them. I recall that your question was about roasting food. I roast ingredients by placing them beside the fire. I do not eat, but I am given to understand that it improves the taste. Our creators roasted ingredients in order to enhance their nutritional value. Do you have ingredients? I invite you to use this fire to roast them. All right, can I have this? What is this? A toasty sky shroom. It's not a bad idea. Um, you know, we could go ahead and, and get to roast in here. This is a tree branch. I don't need that. Um, so, a fire. And what we're going to do is we are going to... Uh, no, no, no! Dang it. I did not mean to... I didn't mean to burn it. Can I just pick that up? Is it wooden stick? It's on fire! Can I just put that out? I have another wooden stick. Uh, so let's drop some mushrooms down there. Hold. Okay, great. I'm holding it. Just drop it down. How long does it take to roast? It's on fire. There we go. We got it. Now, I don't want to spend a ton of time doing that, but that obviously seems like a good thing. And I, and I think I pushed, uh, I put my uh, stick away and so it didn't burn up entirely. Okay, let's go. We gotta find Zelda here. Okay. I don't know if she's gonna be up here or if they're gonna make me like... This looks familiar. Is this familiar? Oh no, okay, well, Temple of Time, here we go. Give a shield. Don't do that, don't do that. Stop it, stop it. Okay, thank you. Gotcha. I got a rusty broadsword, awesome. And a shield, an old wooden shield. So I'll be better equipped to block things now. And then the rusty broadsword, take. All right, can't carry any more melee weapons, so just get me out of there. Take this. <laughs> All right, I'm a full-blown warrior now. No, no problem. We're at the Temple of Time. Let's go. I don't know if Zelda, Zelda's actually going to be here. It'll be nice if she were. Examine. Whoa. Is that, uh, I'm not welcome? That door will open only to those with sufficient power. Oh, who is this? I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. <laughs> I am Raru. <laughs> the source of the right arm. Raru. He looks... Is he a ghost? Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. 
Raru. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. Hmm. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. I'll do it. Of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? Okay. If that's what it takes. Shrines are back. Yes, I'm sure they are the key. <laughs> Is he going to be like a companion? Kind of like Fi or Midna or Navi in a way? Because companions are pretty important to, you know, Zelda games. A lot of them. The closed door, main objective. So let's go. I've been kind of taking it slow. Uh, my adventure log tells me I need to go that way. So I will. And I'll find Princess, you know, Zelda. And yeah, set the objective. Got it. Wait, did I not set it? Taking out my phone again. Uh, yes, of course. All right, great. So I need to go. Oh, that's kind of far. I need to go this way. I'm not a hundred percent sure how to get there yet, but uh, climb down. I mean, okay. I feel like I'm gonna fall if I go this. Well. I don't know. I might just fall. I might, it might be safe. It might be a safe drop. I don't really remember how far you could go. Okay, we're good. I keep trying to run by pressing uh, this, which is really just crouch, so. I should have probably made more toasted things, by the way. No, 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 no. Don't, don't throw it. Well, how do you... Like, I'm like, huh? Oh, there we go. Uh, let's eat. How do I eat one of these? No. Eat. There you go. Full health. <laughs> Sorry. One of the things... Oh, there's that dragon. One of the things, you know, that is kind of, uh... Kind of perplexing to me. Hold on. The shrine is up there. Okay, this looks pretty straightforward. One of the things that's a little per perplexing to me is, you know, always, you know, figuring out the controls again because it's... Oh, no. Okay. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's going to get me. He's going to chop down that tree. I got you. My Man, my weapons never last. Uh, wooden stick. Okay, I can't carry any more melee weapons. No. Um, what's the... What's the... Sorry. Okay, great. Let's drop some of these. Let's drop this one. Let's let's drop this, and we'll take the uh, the wooden stick. Sure looks foggy or hazy or something. It's a beautiful game, though. Let's go over here and see what this shrine's all about. Oh, there's a mushroom. I bet I can climb right up and get it. Just like old times. I remember this. In fact, I'm gonna have to climb. Whoop. A rush drum. I remember this. Cook it to temporarily increase my movement speed. I remember rush rooms. There's one down there too, but kind of in a hurry. <laughs> All right. Thankfully, my stamina held up. Um, I'm super curious at how shrines function in this game. I'm really anxious to see, you know, if there are anything like the shrines in Breath of the Wild. Uko Shrine. All right, here we go. Examine this. Oh, interesting. So is this like a fast travel point up front? Oh, I like this. This is really cool. All right, so we are going into this shrine. I hope it holds the mystery of me getting more powerful or whatever um, so that I can enter that door. This is a neat look for shrines. Oh, hi. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> so you made it here. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges evil. I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm has lost. Mm -hmm. Now then, extend your hand. <laughs> so does that mean that he used to have these abilities? Since this used to be his arm or something? Oh, wow. What's that? He had beautiful fingernails. <laughs> Ultra hand. Okay, great. I got Ultra hand already. Grab and move objects, rotate them, and stick them to other objects. This is going to be such an mm. amazing feature of this game. This is the Ultra hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With it, you'll be able to build a great number of things, really anything you can imagine. Mm. Use Ultra hand and receive the blessing from the shrine. Okay. I'll do it. Activate. So this is how I will activate Ultra Hand. Oh, wow. The ability to create. Okay. Whoa. Okay, what is that? This will be like a bridge or something, right? This simple. Let's start simple. I like it. And probably that. I mean, also, I can probably stick them together. Whoa. Jeez, that scared me. Okay, uh, what is it be? Long bridge? So let me try a long bridge. Let's, uh, so I hold this to rot. That's not to rotate. How do I do? Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. I'm gonna try to make a long bridge. Oh, if I don't, don't get hurt first. There you go. Look at this. Yes, exactly. And then now that they're attached, I can grab them both. Uh, here, how do we? How's that? Yes. This is going to be such a creative game. I mean, every single creator that you watch playing this is this is going to be different. This is going to be so cool. I can't wait to see what kind of stuff I can make with this. I did not mean to pull that out. This, I'm, I'm gonna need long bridge back so that I could go up here and now it's gonna basically be a long ramp uh, So let's there you go Perfect <laughs> Absolutely perfect <laughs> No, oh no, okay, hold on Let's take a step back with it There you go Wait, where's the treasure? Dude, I saw a treasure here. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's stuck? Yeah, that's so weird. Uh, here, uh, grab it, but I can... How do I unglue this? Unstick. There we go, perfect. Oh, okay. I mean, this is a pretty strong ability, so. Do I kick this yep. like before? Ow. <laughs> Amber. Okay, great. Do I still need long bridge? Or uh, <laughs> do I need to bring that with me to do something over here? Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm going this way. What is... Dude, is, this all, is this all mine to mess with? Oh, wow. Um... Okay, hold on. Hold on. Wow, okay. So, if I'm thinking about this correctly, uh, oh, <laughs> it has an example of them up there. All right, so yeah, it's like a hook thing. And so it's just gonna move on its own. I don't know what the rest of this stuff is for though, which is a little weird. I don't know if I need to bring it with me. All right, well, let's just, let's just try to attach one of the hooks. And, huh. How do I, okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying, <laughs> well, how come I can't, Okay, 
I thought I would be able to rotate it a certain way. It's just, okay. No. Nope. <laughs> okay, okay, got it, got it. Let's just attach it right there. Perfect. Uh, let's see. And then that works, but do I need the rest of this stuff? I mean, let me just put this here and see what happens. Um... Sorry, it's taking me so long. Uh, the seat is like this, is like the easiest thing. But hold on. So then I put it here, and then how do I how do I get on it? Wait for me. How do I get on it? Wait. Okay. Come back. Can I grab it from so far away? Okay. Hold on. Come back. Come back. Come back. All right. So we have these things, which are, I, I'm assuming they're gonna be used to kind of weigh it down in some fashion. Like hold it in place or something so that I can, what in the world is this? This is, uh, let's see, unstick it. What about this? Is this unstick as well? All right, so here's my idea. This is gonna be a little bit. I'm gonna stick, attach this. And then I'm going to, I mean, I, I don't know if this is the way. But then. Okay, excuse me, excuse me. We're trying to move it, move it away. All right, great, 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 right? Right, how do, let me up, okay, great. Oh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was trying to, <laughs> all right, I climbed it anyway. Great, that didn't take too long. <laughs> all right, I was trying to hold, I was gonna like then detach it because I was having trouble getting up there when, the, you know, anyway, you guys saw. Let's see what this is about. All right. Wow. You have done well to reach this place. Thank you. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Please, cleanse me of evil, please. I didn't know I was evil though. Is my arm evil? Like. What happened? How did I get evil? By the evil thing attacking me? Now what? Light of blessing, a crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. Great. So I'm done with this. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Awesome. So that was fun. Um, <laughs> maybe I, I overthought it a little bit with that platform thing, but you guys saw that I was trying to like hook it on so that I could then unhook it and go forth. I'm back, you're back. <gasps> you did very well getting through that shrine and you've, and you've restored an ability. This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with pins. Then you'll never lose track of where they are. The Pura Pad offers you a very useful scope. It's quite handy. All right. Well, one shrine down. I see. Uh, so I have a scope. Great. So press that, then place the pin. So obviously I see two immediately. I see one over here, and I can place a pin there. And then I saw one over here, I think. That's one. So place a pin there. And I don't know if it's gonna give me my other abilities. Uh, do I see any others nearby? I don't know if it's going to give me my other abilities, 
um, next time, uh, you know, I go to those shrines, if I'll unlock, like, a couple other abilities. Uh, but that should be enough to open the door, which is exciting, and this game is exciting, and I'm so excited that you could join me to watch. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you want to keep up with the series. I really do appreciate you being here. Come back next time for some more Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.